I'm Michael Collins and I'm an instructor at the Dundas Valley School of Art and today I'm going to give you a couple little tricks about uh, coffee mugs. I'm going to show you how to do a little bit of an undercut on the bottom here to save trimming your mug. I'm going to show you how to make a little bit of a recess on the lip here on your mug and also how to make it a little smoother on top to drink out of. So I'm going to start with the smoother part. I have a piece of chamois leather here which I've attached to a fishing float so that I don't lose it. And I'm going to just let it float over the top of the rim of my mug. And that rounds the rim and it also compresses all the fine and coarse clay particles together. When we're throwing, the sponge and the water action removes a lot of the fine material and that just compresses everything together so that we have a smoother uh, drinking lip. So now I'm going to use this tool which I have ground off flat on this end and have a 45 degree angle here. And the first thing I'm going to do with it is I'm going to make the little bit of a lip here at the top. So I'm going to use the flat end of the tool and I'm going to slow my wheel down just a little bit. I'm going to wet my finger on the inside and then I'm going to just push in with the edge of the tool at the top there against my finger just to recess that rim a little bit. And then I'm going to take my chamois again and I'm going to bring it right down to that spot. And although I haven't changed the top of the rim very much, the way the light hits the piece changes the way it looks. And now at the bottom I'm going to do the little undercut. So if we look at this one we can see we have a 45 on here. First thing I'm going to do is go down profile of the pot and just take away that little bit of ski slope at the bottom there. Then I'm going to turn the tool around the other way and put it into that little groove and then slowly lay it down towards 2 o'clock. It's important to do this slowly because if you go too quickly the clay hasn't got around to you yet and it will pull on your hand. Now I'm going to take the tool and I've got it so that the angle is going away towards 2 o'clock as opposed to coming to me at 4 o'clock and I'm going to hold it on a 45 degree angle to the wheel head, so this area in here being 45 degrees. And then I'm going to be about a quarter inch up off the wheel head, and I'm just going to go into the pot on a 45 until I contact the wheel head. They're going to keep the point down, and I'm going to slowly turn that down towards 2 o'clock and draw it away from the pot. So I've got a nice little undercut profile there now, which gives me a nice spot to glaze to when I wax. I can wax to that edge and then when the pot is sitting on the table you don't see the area that is unglazed underneath because it's underneath the 45 degree angle. And then I'm just going to take my sponge and just contact the bottom here with the sponge just to clean up that bottom edge. And that means that we don't have to turn our pot over, recenter it on the wheel and trim it when it's uh, dry, I can just, well it's leather hard, I can just take my thumb and just run around the bottom here and smooth that off. So that'll save you a lot of time. It gives you a nice lip, uh, smoother lip for drinking with your piece and gives you a nice bottom.